Morning. Doing great. How are you? Good. Well, first of all, you know, let me just say that um, I think it's a, an honor, certainly a, a privilege for us to have the opportunity to be in the national championship game. I think it's a tribute to our players, our coaches, uh, for the job that they've done all year long to create an opportunity for themselves and um, obviously playing, I think, one of the best teams in college football in the University of Georgia and their staff and their players certainly deserve to be congratulated for all that they've been able to accomplish this year. The question is, is what's unique about Georgia's running game? I think, first of all, uh, they do a really good job in terms of their system and scheme, in terms of how they try to attack people. Um, their offensive line has certainly created an identity up front. Uh, they've got two great running backs, uh, do a really good job with the play action passes. Their quarterback has been very efficient and effective. So the combination of the balance that they create with the running game and their ability to throw the ball down the field, whether it's RPOs or play action passes, makes, makes them very difficult to defend. Well, that's certainly the goal. Uh, that's what you like to do. Uh, I think uh, everybody would like to finish strong. Uh, that's the goal for what we'd like to do. Um, I think when you play in an emotional game like that, um, which both teams played, no doubt, uh, it's, it's a challenge for each individual to um, sort of act like you want to be, uh, to come up with the energy, the enthusiasm, to... Uh, go out there and play with confidence, uh, not only in when the game comes, but in how you prepared for the game. I, I cannot hear you. Well, I think it, it speaks a lot of a team's competitive character when they um, put themselves in a position where uh, they have to keep playing and coming back in the game. But... Um, I don't think you get to this point if your team doesn't have that. And they certainly showed it, you know, in that particular game. Um, it was a great football game, and they certainly made the plays when they needed to, whether it was two minutes at the end of the game or big plays to get back in the game. No question. I think the guy has played extremely well all year long, uh, been very efficient, very effective as a passer. Uh, does a great job of executing their offense, put them in the right plays, very smart, great understanding, good decision maker, distributes the ball correctly almost all the time, uh, and he's been accurate and efficient in the way he's done it. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think that any system where you have to make a subjective decision about who gets in and who gets, who doesn't, could be totally fair because it's subjective. And uh, I, I think there's all these factors that get taken into consideration, whether it's strength of schedule, um, conferences, whatever, conference championships. I'm, I mean, you know a lot more about this than I do. Um, so. I can't really answer that to say that it's fair. Um, if we if we had a uh, a system where uh, it was foolproof in terms of what you had to do to qualify, uh, then I think you could say that it's fair. But as long as it's subjective, it can't be totally fair. I mean, I think everybody's intention is that it's totally fair, and they do it with great integrity and honesty in terms of how they pick. But I think as long as it's subjective, somebody's going to have an opinion of maybe how it could have been done another way. I mean, I always talk about the basketball tournament. They pick, what is it, 68 teams, and then you all have a two-hour show on who didn't get in and who got in and all that. So it wouldn't make any difference how many teams got in. There'd always be speculation as to who could have uh, or maybe should have. Raekwon Davis has done an outstanding job for us all year long. Um, really a conscientious, hardworking player who has 
um, made a tremendous amount of improvement, has a better understanding of what his what, what he's required to do to be an effective player, and has uh, shown a lot of discipline and able to do that on a more consistent basis now. So, and his production has gone up because of that. Well, Kirby's an outstanding coach. Uh, I mean, there's no doubt about it. He did a fabulous job for us for the years that he was with us, and I, I think the the results that he got in whatever his role was, you know, certainly um, showed that he's very, very capable in terms of leadership and being responsible to uh, get people to play at a high standard. And I certainly think that um, he's done that you know, as a head coach now. And um, I think it's, um, you know, a real tribute to him, his staff, the leadership that they have, and the players that have all bought into what they're trying to do to be able to uh, get in this position. Look, it really doesn't mean anything to me. Um, my number one goal is that, uh, and the thing that I don't sleep well at night thinking about is how do we get our players in the best position to be able to go play their best football game? Whether it's uh, how we get them motivated to do it, how we practice them to do it, the game plan that we put in for them to do it. I mean, these guys, these coaches, these players have uh, really put a lot forward, made a lot of sacrifices, worked really hard to have the opportunity to be where they are. and. Uh, this game's not really about me. All right? It's about all of them and uh, trying to put them in the best position that they possibly be in to have a chance to be successful. Well, that was part of it. Um, you know, that we had an opportunity that we didn't succeed at. Um, not wasting a failure is all about what can we learn from that experience. And um, I think that we learned a lot, not just in the way we played in the last game, but throughout the whole course of the season. Um, and I thought the players responded pretty well in that game. The real challenge will be can we duplicate you know, that kind of uh, energy in this game. Well, Jake was an outstanding player, very productive in high school, you know, great leader, uh, had a lot of success on the field, uh, came to our camp and was very, very, you know, accurate, efficient, effective, right personality, got the right stuff. Uh, no doubt that he had all the ingredients and intangibles that you're looking for for a guy to lead your team and be your quarterback. And, um, you know, we were disappointed that we didn't get him, but uh, he's certainly done an outstanding job with the opportunity that he has right now. You know, look, I, ha I have great respect for um, the office of the President of the United States, and um, it would be an honor whoever was in that position if they chose to come to see uh, the college football national championship game. Well, I, you know, we've had several guys that have been great assistants for us that have gone on to be head coaches and uh, one of the things that I always you know say to them when they get the opportunity is um, you know be who you are uh, and you know do things like you believe and I think Kirby has done that and I think he's done it extremely well um, you know if there's something that he learned philosophically from the way we do things uh, that has been beneficial to him um, I guess that's, that would be apparent to, to, to anyone in terms of what his philosophy is and how he tries to do things. But I th also think that you know, he's, he's done a good job of being who he is.
Well, Levi is a very conscientious guy. He really works hard. Uh, he's done it for a long time in his career. Uh, he's come a long way in his career um, and has certainly taken advantage of the opportunity that he has and has been a very consistent performer for us and um, certainly appreciate all that he's done to develop into the kind of uh, player that he is, but he's also a, a, a great ambassador and leader on the team uh, for his teammates and I think one of the most well-liked guys on our team. Well, I think that's always really important. I think turning the ball over is probably one of the most significant um, statistics in football relative to winning and losing. So to be able to take care of the ball without being risk aversive to the point where you're afraid to try to make a play um, is important. And I think turnovers will be probably important in this game. And uh, I do agree with you that Jalen has done a really good job in terms of ball security and decision making and taking care of the football for us this year. They're probably as good as I can ever remember. Uh, those two guys are fantastic players. They complement each, each other very well. Um, they're both relentless type competitors. Um, you know, they're, they're outstanding players and I'm sure they're gonna have great careers, you know, beyond college. Um, they've been very, very productive. I mean, they, they are, I can't say enough about how I feel about and how much respect I have for what they've been able to accomplish and what they've done this year. I, you know, I, I got enough to worry about about our team. I, 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 you know, I'm sure their coaching staff is capable enough of making better, right decisions for what they do. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about what we're going to do in practice today. Uh, I'm worried about our team. I, I think focus is really important to get refocused on, you know, what what you want to accomplish and what you want to do and try to get the team ready and try to get them to refocus and recenter very quickly. Um, it is a little bit of a unique circumstance because you're not just in a playoff game, you're at a bowl game and you've been there for a long time and you come home and, and, and have to immediately, you know, get back into another preparation. So um, maturity uh, of players is very important in terms of how do they manage that, how they handle that. Um, and you know, you never really know if you did it correctly until you get out there and start playing and see how everybody responds. Well, first of all, Kirby was always on my team. Um, so we weren't playing against each other. We were playing with each other. Um, you know, I'm kind of the commissioner of the league when we play basketball. So I kind of pick my team based on who's there to play. I also pick the guy on the other team that's going to guard me. And uh, I call all the fouls. So we don't lose much. <laughs> But I do agree that this game is not about this is this game's about the players. I mean, these players have all worked hard to have an opportunity on both sides to uh, be in a position that they're in. And, um, you know, they're the ones that are going to play the game. And uh, they're, they're, we're all going to have to live with, uh, you know, whatever happens in the game. But the game is really about the players. And uh, that should be the focus of the game, in my opinion.